Guinea. Let's start off with that story from uh, Napoli. Victor Simen getting uh, the all-important goal yesterday. I was speaking to you off the air and I said, look, Chris Smalling had him for all of 89 minutes. It was the one moment Chris Smalling had him goal side and Victor Simen uh, did the job. And th that's a mark of, of a really quality striker, a player playing with real confidence and belief. Just came back from injury and has managed to score three goals in, in, in his last three games. And that's really good because it is games like this you want to judge a striker. The big games where there are very few chances and you expect him to take half a chance. And he took his goal really, really well. Had a, a chance earlier in the game where you, where you felt he should have taken it. He didn't quite do that. But when in that moment he found a real quality uh, opportunity and he smashed it home. It wasn't an easy chance, it has to be said, because the angle was slightly against him. To be able to squeeze that ball past a very good goalkeeper like Rui Patricio was, would have really pleased him. But Napoli as a whole have been incredible. They've been absolutely incredible. They started the season like they started last time. They didn't quite have the momentum and the steam to, to stay in the, in the chase, but brilliant result for them. That's uh, uh, 43 goals there. <clears throat> Zero losses, which tells you that they're one of two unbeaten teams uh, in Europe at the moment, uh, alongside with Real Madrid. So uh, that tells you what great company they currently find themselves in and, of course, topping uh, the Serie A table. It's been 100% so far this season and uh, 11 straight wins is uh, the predominant figure there. Let's move away from that. Jose Mourinho's team, of course, are losing that game and it's important to uh, note that it was uh, one of those uh, derbies there. Um, you know, Jose Mourinho's team couldn't quite get the victory there. <laughs>